Rafe Hadelman who appeared on GB News and discussed how Prince Harry is taking legal action against the Home Office after his request to pay for UK police protection was denied. Prince Harry's representatives have revealed he is concerned over the safety of his family in the UK and wishes to have police-level intelligence protecting him should he return for events, such as the Platinum Jubilee. Mr. Hadelman who dismissed the suggestion, arguing Prince Harry would still likely be alerted to security threats from national security agencies and said he could even ask Princess Eugenie and Beatrice if he could use their private security temporarily. Addressing concerns that the paparazzi may threaten Prince Harry's safety if he returns to the UK, Mr. Hadelman who did not believe they posed a huge threat to the prince and said he would still be given protection when at royal events. He told GB News, We live in a free country. The paparazzi are a real nuisance, they're annoying, that can be a nightmare. But we live in a country with a free press and quite frankly, you know, being mobbed by paparazzi at Kew Gardens or at Kensington isn't really sufficient grounds to say that your life is in danger, that's a gross exaggeration. It's also completely inaccurate for him to say that by not having access to the intelligence he is somehow more at risk than anybody else. If there were a real security risk for Prince Harry, our intelligence services would of course take action we have to remember that and they aren't going to simply let that information not go unnoticed. And then, of course, you could expect Scotland Yard to take the necessary action. Mr. Hadelman Koo then offered a suggestion to Prince Harry if he was worried about his security and said he should copy what his cousins do. He added, they hire ex-royal protection officers who are extremely skilled and have a lot of history in this area and they've also got security clearance in the royal palaces. The only thing is, that they don't have is a firearm, which is quite understandable. And if Prince Harry speaks very nicely to Beatrice and Eugenie, maybe he can borrow their protection officers when he is in the country. And of course, we're only talking about the occasions when he is not in royal surroundings because if Harry's over here, visiting his family, you will, of course, get the same protection that they're getting by virtue of being on in the same area. Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie lost their taxpayer-funded security team in 2011 following concerns they were racking up huge costs. Channel 5 documentary Beatrice and Eugenie, Pampered Princesses? Claimed Prince Andrew was furious at the move which was reportedly led by Prince Charles. The princesses now pay for security privately. In the other hand, Prince Charles' mention of Prince Harry's environmental work was an attempt to get his son to delay the publication of his upcoming memoir, a royal commentator has claimed. Relations have reportedly been fraught between Harry and the Prince of Wales, and appeared to reach boiling point during Harry and Meghan Markle's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey last year. During the chat, the Duke of Sussex accused his father of cutting him off financially, and said he had felt really let down by Charles. However, after the Prince of Wales praised his son's environmental work in an essay, it appeared an olive branch might have been extended to the now ex royal. Charles commended his son's efforts, writing, My younger son, Harry, has passionately highlighted the impact of climate change, especially in relation to Africa, and committed his charity to being net zero. But, speaking on the Royal Us podcast, royal author Christopher Anderson claimed that this could have been an attempt to encourage Harry to delay the publication of his memoir until after the Queen's Platinum Jubilee year. What's going on right now is a concerted effort to convince Harry to postpone this book that has them all shaking in their boots, Christopher suggested. He's supposed to tell all and he's already told an awful lot so imagine what could be said in his memoirs which were scheduled for publication this coming fall, autumn. He is being pressured by all the various royal houses, the Queen's team, Charles' team, Kate's team, to at least push it past the Jubilee year for the Queen. Christopher sought to back up his claims by referring to the Queen's failure to mention Harry when she recently praised Charles and William for their environmental work. She specifically omitted any reference to Harry who has been, if anything, more active in this area, or as active, he continued. He suggested that Prince Charles' subsequent mention of his son's efforts didn't necessarily represent a warm invitation for the Duke of Sussex to return to the royal fold. Christopher added, I think it's part of this larger plan to try and at least through diplomatic channels to get Harry to back off a little bit with his book. But, Christopher noted that he didn't think the tactic would work, and maintained that he expected the book to come out at the time of its anticipated release date later this year. Harry announced last year that he would be publishing a tell-all memoir.